Okay, this is, this is the third video on electric grooves, um, and I'm concentrating right now on 16th note grooves. And uh, we did, the first video was just about playing the 16th notes on, and squeezing on the different parts of the beat, um, the downbeat, the E of the beat, the end of the beat, and the other beat. You could look that up. And then the, the next one was all about creating um, what we'll call like the standard funk groove, um, where we're really kind of, normally when you count 16th notes, you count them in groupings of four. 1 e end to 2 e end to 3 e end to 4 e end to uh, 4 times 4 is 16. But the, the, the funk groove kind of we accented every third note uh, for the most part until the very last uh, beat. So it was kind of a 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 kind of pattern. And that was this one. Now slow down, I'm accenting on the down and then an up, and then a down, and then an up, and then a down. It's, it's basically a funk version of the free range groove I did on the acoustic guitar, being this one, like a... Okay. Same kind of feel, actually, but in just totally different, two different contexts. The um, thing we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna move uh, we're going to take that standard folk groove and we're going to move it over. We're going to move it over one sixteenth, and we're going to move over another sixteenth, and we're going to move it over another sixteenth. And uh, that'll give us, you know, take that one groove and turn it into four different, four different feels that you can kind of go back and forth on. All right, so let's um, let me play the click, and we'll start with that. standard. So that's the the uh, the strokes the the uh, accents are on one, the uh of one, the and of two, the e of three, and on four. But we're gonna move everything over one sixteenth note. So now the first accent is gonna be on the e of one. So it's gonna be one e, and then on two, and then the uh of two, the and of three, and the e of four. Okay, and that's gonna sound like this with a click. Three, four. Slow that down. I'll go down to uh, 84. Almost harder. having troubles with that you can you can try to just play the first just try to get that first hit that first accent and then add the second accent so it would be kind of like this back up back up at 96 try to get that one and then the next one Okay, whereas before we were alternating down, up, down, up, down, up, I see, down, up, down, up, down were the accents. The, once you move it over 1 16th, now the accent's going to be a start on an upstroke, and it's going to go up, down, up, down, up. The last one's going to be an up. All right, let's do that with a drum groove. And I've, I've got a drum groove in here that's kind of kind of a weird groove. Just It's not redundant. It's, it's a four-bar phrase, and it's got a kind of a fill at the end. And, and that's intentional. It kind of... Uh, forces me to concentrate a little harder and, and really f focus on what I'm doing. And uh, it's good because when you get into a bad band situation, there's a lot going on and you can easily be thrown off if you're not concentrating. So having kind of a busy drum fit groove like this can be kind of good. One, two, one, here's the original. Now I'm going to accent, move it over one sixteenth. Cool, huh? 
So right away you've got two two different grooves now. Okay, now we're going to move it over another sixteenth. So instead of being on starting on one, we're going to start on the and of one. Then we'll be on the e of two, on three, the uh of three, and then the the um, uh, and of four. Okay, and that one with a click. Let's go back to the click. Keep it simple. Sounds like this. Now, if you go to my blog, I'll have some um, some. JPEGs of the, the music notation for that, so you can see it. Okay, again, this is another one where if you want to, you can break it down and just play the first hit. And then get the next one in. And, you know, that could be a pattern right there. That may be what you want to use for the song. A lot of times I think um, when I'm playing these kind of, kind of grooves, um, I think, uh, you know, I imagine myself as kind of a horn section doing stabs, you know, bah! 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 You can just hear the horns, you know, playing that, especially if you do like a sharp nine chord or something. Okay, now we're going to do that pattern against the drum fill, uh, I mean the drum groove, and again, this one's going to start on the and of one. Back to the original. Here we go. I'm going to move it over. One sixteenth. One more. So you can see, I just kind of vary, you don't have, you know, when you're playing a groove in a band or whatever, you don't necessarily have to do the same groove over and over again. You can do different, um, different grooves, one, uh, you know, one for the verse, one for the chorus, one for the bridge or whatever, or, you know, all, all different kinds of things. But um, we have one more to do, and that is to move to the, instead of playing on the downbeat or the E or the and, we have one left, it's the uh of one. So it's the uh of one, the and of two, the E of three on four. Four and then the uh of four. Okay, and with a click, let me do this one with a click so you can hear it. And this one's probably the trickiest one. Oops. All right. okay. Two, three, four. Uh, three, four. It's a tricky one. Okay, so um, same thing here. You can start out with just three, four, one, three, four, one, and then and then you go to uh, you can add the end of two, one, three, four. Okay, let's try this against the drum groove, and then what I'm going to do once I get going with the drum groove is I'm going to kind of mix it up. I'll do all of them, uh, but I'll try to do the uh, the, the, this fourth one first, and then I'll bring in some of the others, and maybe try to talk while I do it. <laughs> Here we go. Concentrate. Here's the first one. Now I'm going to move it over. I'm going to move it over one sixteenth. Two, three, four. I like that one.
Now, um, here's another thing you can do. Is just keep doing the threes. Don't ever do that four strums of one of one chord. So just it's just squeeze every third chord. Just keep that going, and that sounds like this. up differently every time it's kind of cool every every it doesn't repeat until you get to the, the fourth time through okay enough drum enough of that drum group uh, we'll bring it back but uh, I'm gonna do some more videos on this we're gonna do some variations on those variations and uh, to show you that there's really an infinite number of things that we can do um, with these uh, with this group okay so I hope this helps um, Feel free, don't forget to check my blog to see the, <clears throat> to see the JPEGs of the music notation for these. And, um, and then also uh, feel free to uh, contact me through YouTube and ask me for a specific lesson. Maybe if you have any questions on this, feel free to ask. I'm always, I'm always fairly quick to respond. So, God bless you guys. Talk to you soon.